Hi there, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on for you for March 2024. How are you all doing? You're kind of the stars of the show here. All right. If you guys aren't aware, I have brought back dailies as well as these monthlies, and I've never in 10 years missed a weekly. So make sure you go back and check some of that stuff out. You can always go back and treat any reading like it's timeless. All right, let's get your story here. Okay, okay, okay. That King of Gabriel, he keeps coming out. Um, if you guys are watching for your sun, moon, and rising, I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to be seeing some repeating mess or some like amped up messages. There's a theme going on here. You have a lot of aerial cards here, which is reminding you to be very grounded. It's going to be very tempting, I think, here in March to just run away with big ideas. Um, some of you are really dreaming big, which is beautiful. But there's a process, okay? There's a process. <laughs> like Here I've got all the cards lined up like this. We start off with the seven of Ariel. And this says you have invested wisely. You've been working hard, okay? And I'm talking like years long, you've been working hard. Uh, have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next, next endeavor. I almost dropped the card. Did you see that? <laughs> And I panic for nothing. Ugh. Anyway, <laughs> make plans for your next endeavor. This is, okay, yes, you've planted the seeds. Like, okay, you're, you're moving forward now. But don't get ahead of yourself just yet. Because this month is very much like, okay, I'm starting off steady. We're doing well. I've, I've got everything in a plan. I'm ending old things so new stuff can get moving here. We have the number 10 here, bringing lessons to a close. This is Archangel Jeremiah. So this is a time also where you're reviewing everything that you have done, right? You're, you're going back over and seeing like, have I, have I planted everything that I want to? Have I planned out everything that I want to? And this says new beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. Now, this is the feeling I got here. You're going in this direction. You're like, okay, I've done the review. I'm feeling good about this. I've been able to work on this situation or that situation. I'm letting some of the harder stuff go so I can bring in good fortune. And then boom. Okay. Hang with me here. Five of Ariel. You walk towards the difficulty. Because you don't want it surprising you later. That's interesting. I'm going to go towards that thing I see lurking in the corner and let me just handle it. If ever you have seen a spider in your home, are you one of the ones that like runs away? Or are you the one, I got to keep an eye on that sucker so I don't, it doesn't get away from me, right? Whether you're somebody who scoops it up and puts it outside or you throw a shoe at it or whatever you got to do. I am somebody who, if I see it, it's not getting out of my sight. I'm going to handle it right then and there so it can't surprise me in the middle of the night. No, thank you. Okay. Let's see <laughs> what's going on here. So this is that kind of thing where some of you, you know, just in your life, you're keeping an eye on your fears, the things that you have the most fear around. And maybe it's about material manifestation. Maybe it's about finances. Maybe it's about having a purpose in this world. This says you needn't go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. This is not letting yourself have help. This is saying, well, it's, I, I'm too afraid to be happy. That's what it is. I'm too afraid to be happy because if I'm happy, then somehow I'll be let down. Or if I'm happy, somehow the universe is going to see that I'm happy and try to take that away from me or, you know, something around that. Um, this This could also be... You start to see some nice movement, especially around things that make us feel safe as humans, okay? Maybe it looks like that house, you're going to sign on it. Or maybe it looks like you're going to get that raise or you got that job or something. This five of aerial here doesn't necessarily have to mean that the house falls through or that you don't get the job or you don't get the raise. It doesn't mean that. As a matter of fact, I think this is... You, this is more your feeling, okay? This is your fears being reflected back to you that no one's going to care enough to help. But 
two people care enough to help. Okay, so let's start with this King of Gabriel. Generous, inspirational, dramatic, driven. Keep your eyes on the big picture. So don't let little bumps in the road, you know, throw you off track or even if it's been a longstanding issue or problem or something you've been trying to work through. Now, someone sees you. Someone sees you and, and they're going to help or they're going to have an idea. And remember, you don't have to know this person personally. You know, this could be you coming across business information, make sure it's credible, um, from somebody on social media. Again, make sure it's credible. Like where it's somebody who is, they actually do that for a living, but they're sharing their knowledge, okay? Um, keep your eye on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success. Genuine concern for others. So you've got a couple of powerful energies here. And they are definitely in your corner, okay? So when you're thinking like nobody cares, nobody even knows I'm out here, yes, they do. Yes, they do. And they are just waiting for you to be willing to walk through the door. Then we have King of Ariel. Someone's teaching you about money. Someone's giving, and make sure it's a professional in this area, okay? Again, someone credible. But someone is coming in, and this could be the kind of thing of, Let's say you're a freelancer and you thought you were going to have a good abundant month and then things start kind of not being so nice. And then someone says, hey, no, we can help you. Here's a solution to that or here's how we approach this. And then this could be somebody coming along and saying, hey, you know, you can always have your money make money <laughs> so that you're not just depending on that sale or that um, that money to come in where, wherever it's coming from, right? King of Ariel, successful, stable, accomplished, powerful. This is also somebody who um, helps you with different income streams. They have ideas for that. Your plans are working out very well, professional and financial success, using resources wisely. So you're figuring out who to listen to this month. Now, the only little bit of a hang up would be that five of Ariel, where that doubt starts to creep in. Have I done enough? Um... Have I followed all the rules? Have I set myself up for success? I'm hearing payoff. There's a lot of payoff happening here. But the way you're imagining that payoff happening right here, right now, is not how it's going to play out. <laughs> it's not how it's going to play out. Again, it could be the sort of thing of maybe you're beating yourself up because you know you didn't take a role or you didn't save your money or you didn't you something that you feel like you forgot in one way or another I forgot to water the garden and now it's not going to produce anything you're not as bad off as you think there's also a little bit of a feeling here where I don't know what else what other example to use but let's say you're behind on your electric bill okay and you're just feeling really guilty and you're just like, oh my gosh, how could I ever let this happen? And then you realize everyone's going through that, okay? A lot, unless you're super, super wealthy, sometimes people are not getting paid on time in order to submit. And you're realizing, okay, like I'm not alone in this. A lot of people are struggling, struggling to make ends meet, struggling to find their way. Um, maybe you hear someone say, yeah, well, I reinvented myself in my fifties and went a completely different direction with my career. And you're like, okay, well then I'm not alone. That sort of thing. Okay. It's that sort of thing where you're really beating yourself up over something and it's to the point where you feel like you don't deserve the help. Like this is mine to clear up. I have to keep an eye on it. Um, and what's ended up happening is so much of your energy is focusing on beating yourself up over something that probably happens a lot, right? Um, that your energy is now off. And so you're not focused towards what the real potentials are, the real possibilities that could be delivering something quite nice to you. So essentially dimming your light and, and what could potentially happen there if you continue on that path is that... The people who could help or have advice or guide you, they don't see you. They don't see your email come in. 
weird stuff like that, right? Like you end up literally getting overlooked, but there's no need. There's no need. The wheel is here, okay? This could be a time where a lot of good things are starting to come up for you. But if you are suspicious of everything or um, it, it, it's this feeling of, yeah, right, nothing good ever happens to me. Yeah, right. I mean, it's there, but we'll see if it works. You know, <laughs> like Those kinds of things coming up here. I feel the push pull and I feel the struggle to um, release that. And that's okay. But somewhere here in the month, please give yourself a little grace. Give yourself some space for adjustment to work out some things that have concerned you so that you can have some breakthroughs, so that you can finally let some help in. Okay, so we're going to leave it there. I am sending you all so much love and take care.